Does anything look familiar in my room? <laughs> hmm? Does, uh, any, anything look familiar in my room? <laughs> uh, potato knows about this. I have no head. Right. But, um, yeah. Future Dome had been spoiled for a very long time. <laughs> Let me recalibrate him. Yeah. Future Dome had been spoiled for a very long time. It was literally on my shelf over there. So, yeah. <laughs> the secret is out now. Right. Uh, okay, let's, let's go in. Let's go in. Uh, let me just move myself up a little bit. There we go. That's back to normal. Okay. I'll get some music on as well. So. Right. Are we ready? Okay. I give you future dam. Uh, this is the big one. Let me just uh, show you this. <laughs> um, it's it's a it's a small project. It's not it's not like it's huge or anything. It's it's pretty small. Nothing. Nothing like extreme. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's future dome. Yeah, the, uh, the map of Future Dome. I was gonna tease a lot of stuff for it, um, such as doing like a star chart, like a constellation type thing, where you just see all the line, the the circles of where the domes are. But Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna try. I was gonna do that, but frankly, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, the big dome. Um, this is, I think, a hundred blocks wide. So, there's, there's a hole. Why, why are the holes? You, uh... You, you, uh... Wait, the other one. Yeah. You, you, uh, you see nothing. <laughs> Problems with working with the gravel. Right. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is the big dome. It's interesting to say the least. This is the first build, um, in the entire dome. Let me put music on. I just realized I haven't put music back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, this. Okay, this is the the, uh, the first building in the world. This one right here. Um, actually no, it's not. It's not uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been ages. But this is the first time complete in this dome. It was originally over there. That was where it was originally, and then I moved it over here because I wanted it to be um, facing this way. So I wanted it to be facing the foundry, which we'll be getting to in a minute. Um, so I moved it. Frankly, I probably didn't need to because we spilled the other sections, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first the first building, this one right here. Uh, it came after the tree, of course. The tree came first, um, and all like the measurements and stuff. So this was the first dome to be completed. Uh, in this in this build, so I gotta give it some credit. It wasn't the first dome that I placed. That would be the swamp dome. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty big. Let me just come out. It's um no, it's not that big. It's it's not that big. <laughs> um. Probably the thing that took the longest was this bit going around the outside. Like this probably took the longest and throwing out all the, the trimming. That was the, the biggest pain, I think. Um, so yeah, and making me want to play MC again. 
These bits I saw in a reference and I liked it, but there's nothing inside them. I didn't know what to put inside them, so I just left them empty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh wait, this was the first build I did. That was the first build, and then I moved it in after I put that one in. And then I copied it to the other side. I, I know the way that I did this, I promise. Um, but I actually built that one outside uh, first, whereas everything else was built inside. And I must say, all of these buildings here are unique. <laughs> They're unique to one another. So I had to build every single one of them individually. Just wanted to add that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got uh, the, the four water storage things. Loads of uh, campfires inside the pipes to make it look like it's uh, hot water. There's loads of pipes and stuff. So, yeah, you've done a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've put a little bit too much thought into this build, I must admit. Um, uh, yeah, I like these. They were originally one on either side, but then I thought, hey, let's put two on either side, why not? And these are connected to the foundry, which is the build big building over there. Uh, the, f the foundry I completed just after the giant dome. So, that was fun. This is not the original foundry, by the way. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The idea for the foundry. Let me just go back to React. Oh my god, it's my own stream! <laughs> so the original foundry is this bit here. So, a little bit of an improvement. Uh, yeah, only a little bit. <laughs> and it's... Any smidge. Did we just get like the matrix just then? That was, that was interesting. Right. So yeah, that was the original foundry, and now it's turned into this, which yeah, it's only a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's completely well. It's not completely symmetrical because there's like pipes that I've put in different places so they're not in exactly the same place. Um, I think these pipes are in different places as well. So it's not entirely symmetrical but it's symmetrical enough that people would think it's enough symmetrical. So we got the two the two sections. We got the lava section and then we kind of got the water section over here. Um, the foundry is also the reason why I've had to turn off uh, mob spawning because the amount of times I've had to or I've had the the glow squid spawning in these containers is, is just a pain. Sandy says hi. Hi Sandy. So yeah, I had to turn off mob spawning just for that. <laughs> But if you are sneaky and you come under here, you see the original foundry that I was planning to build. It's not as big as you as the other one, as you can see, but yeah, it's there. I'm a true game designer, I leave all the little secrets underneath the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the uh, foundry. We got all these little waterways. We don't go to anywhere, but it's fine. Uh, any little secrets? There's not really much secrets for the foundry, to be honest. We just go in here to make it look like there's a doorway. Um, yeah, the original. Design 
that's currently underground. Um, it wasn't funny enough. It wasn't big enough. <laughs> so I was just like, hey, let's just go out. Let's just go all out with it. So I decided to go all out with it. And this is the outcome. So lots of pipes and stuff. The amount of uh, campfires I've had to use for it is insane. So we killed all of these with campfires, and yeah. I was originally going to have campfires under this lava as well, but it looked a little bit odd. Imagine if you had this on Cold Hall. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to put this on Guild Hall. Guild Hall is dead, is it? It's not just, it'll probably be released now. But. I don't know about Guildhall. Guildhall's a, an anomaly at this point. Yeah, lots of little details that I just wanted to try and add just to make it look like it was working. So we got all the campfires along here and down here and stuff as well. Because this water is ideally coming from under the ground where the lava is, so... I wanted to make it look steamy. So... Yeah. The foundry is actually a very special build in regards to Future Dome. Because the original Future Dome uh, on my very first channel was the first build I ever did for the for the build. So it's pretty special. Yeah. Foundry, very important building for the, the build. So I wanted to do it justice and I really hope that I did. <laughs> right, uh, where to next? Which dome? What dome do we want to go to next? I'm sure I can live here. I wouldn't want to live there, to be honest. <laughs> Are you seeing all this orange stuff? It typically isn't good. <laughs> which, which dome? Uh, I'll go through the list. We have Cold Ocean, we've got Farming, we've got Snow, we've got Taiga, Jungle, Cherry, Swamp, uh, Forest, and then Warm Ocean. So, Snow. You want to go to the Snow Globe. Got it. Right, this is the Snow Globe. The... I like how you decided to pick this one, which is the, the one dome that I'm not particularly proud of. <laughs> this dome was so rushed, it's unbelievable. Um, and the snow took me about, I would say about two hours to place. Like one to two hours to place all of these, because it's an individual and I can't, I don't know how to place all the snow in, um, uh, world edit, so I had to place all of it individually. So, <laughs> that was fun. But yeah, this is the snow globe. There's not much interesting here other than this. Um, again, very rushed. This was actually done really quickly. Quicker than you'd think that I did. Uh, I also placed down the, the orchids because I thought it kind of looked like the amethyst geos so the amethyst clusters so I thought eh why not let's place it yeah I'm not I'm absolutely happy with this but it works so I'm not that worried <laughs> um anyway it's completely filled so we got the fans and everything so Gotta keep it cool, so we gotta get all the fans in and stuff. I also did the uh, the campfire trick as well, but in this time, to make it look cold. Snow globe and it takes two is better. Thanks, Isaac. <laughs> but yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, we got like a generator thing here, and it that goes down to nowhere. But yeah, we got the fans in here to keep the keep pumping in the cool air. These are all custom, like all the trees and stuff in the worlds are custom. So 
I had to build quite a lot of uh, trees and stuff. So, me. Yeah. Am I in? Okay. Yeah, these spikes are all hand built, so they've got blue ice inside. Some DC. You can see it there, none. Yeah, there's not really much that I can really talk about with the uh, snow globe. Um, this is probably the biggest uh, key, this detail for the snow globe. Other than it is actually designed on a snow globe. I think I'm face I'm going to check it. No. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. The snow globe is based on an actual snow globe. Technically, it shouldn't be next to this because it would be too hot, but I wanted this because we hadn't had a waterfall, to be honest, of this scale in the rest of the builds. So I wanted to build a waterfall though. Or lava fall, should I say. But yeah, that is a snow globe. Not really that much interesting with it. It's probably the least interesting build. <laughs> It's also the smallest, so as you know, it's not the uh, swamp planners. It's the second smallest. <laughs> yeah. Not really much more I can really say about it. It was quite rushed because it was um, built towards the end of. Well, it was built in the last week before I released the video, so. Forest! This is probably the more interesting one. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so before I get into the forest, each of the domes have their own little gimmick, right? Uh, so the snow globe has the the cave underneath, and it was a snow globe. But the forest has the sawmill, so we'll get to that in a minute. But this is the forest dome. By the way, um, yes. My stream is still late. Tomorrow after I stream at Taste 2. Um, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. More Minecraft tomorrow, possibly, so I don't like streaming on Sundays. I might be a bit after that. So I don't know. Yeah, tomorrow I'm streaming more Minecraft probably. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Anyway, this dome, I must say, was a pain to terraform. I got very tired of terraforming this dome uh, after quite some time. <laughs> oh, there's pickups. Oh, it was a bee. But yeah. I like this dome a lot though. Oh, is that on my streaming days? No, I'll be streaming later in the day. Oh, probably. I don't know yet. Depends what the plans are. Because I will be joining some other people. Yeah. <laughs> Stream too. Yeah! <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, this dome was a pain to terraform. Everything uh, was pretty much hand placed. Uh, so, like the, the trees and stuff, this wasn't hand placed. But all of, like uh, the stone around the outside, that was, and it just got really tedious by the end of it. I want to be in her streams. You want to be in my streams? <laughs> You were in one of my streams on on Wednesday. <laughs> right, so anyway, we've got bees in here as well. Um, I did want to put other animals in other domes, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, these two in particular. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This one was a pain. Because this one... 
This one doesn't have the most terraforming, it just had the, like one of the most tedious terraforming because most of it had to be done by hand instead of world edit. But, yeah. Anyway, the, the sawmill. This bit up here, I'm very happy with. Like, you don't know how happy I am with uh, this bit. Just the little details of the, the thing. Shaving the log. I like that. That was a good touch. <laughs> I'm quite proud of that little touch. And then we got the little control panel in here. Um, yeah, I'm quite proud of this little machine that I built. Um, in such a small space. And the wood thing gets dropped down. So these are ideally doors that kind of go out. And then it gets placed down. And then the claws can come over here and collect up the next one as well. So that's all good. And then we got the water because some of these have water in them. So yeah. <laughs> uh, the other little bit up here is this bit. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is like the control panel for the doors down here. We'll get to that in a minute. So we've got a little control panel. And then we got the rest of the sawmill down here. So lots of uh, wood stacked up. I'm not like overly happy with the design choices I did for this, but <laughs> it just looks like I've been placing blocks in random places just to fill up space to make it look interesting, in my opinion. But I was building it so I wanted to say that. <laughs> and we got loads of cranes and stuff. Uh, we got like a sawmill over here. I don't really know what this is. It's just trains that go up to the top. I was just filling space. Because frankly, I didn't know what else to put. I was looking at looking at so many different references. And I was coming up short. And then we got an elevator that goes up to the top. We got a lot of these elevators around the build. Oh, like a lot. Um, <laughs> they're all connected to one another. Right. Coming out here, we've got the kind of the the docking station. We got like trucks. Generally, don't know how these trucks move around. I was originally gonna do um, aircrafts that carried them, but then I couldn't be bothered to build them and I, well, I tried but they looked really bad. <laughs> Hi William. <laughs> so yeah, generally don't know how these move around. So yeah, that's for your imagination. <laughs> um, are you, by the way, are you proud of my redstone? I'm very proud of my redstone. This, this is uh, a red zone of my creation. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got the, the humongous crane out here. This is the biggest crane on the, on the map. Because all the others are that size. <laughs> what do you mean you believe me? I generally did make that red stone. <laughs> I didn't look it up or anything. It was just really simple redstone. It was just a redstone clock attached to the rest of it. I can make redstone clocks, I know how to do them. But yeah, this is the biggest crane. Um, there's not really much I can really say about it to be honest. It's just a really big crane. But yeah. I'm gonna see a redstone now. No. <laughs> I just know how to make a redstone clock. <laughs> and then here we got like the controls for the crane. We got some aircrafts. Uh, this is like a refuel station. So it's... I don't know if it's like filled with water or fuel. I don't know. But yeah, it's a refuel station for any like aircraft that come. So that is what this is. Uh... Just trucks. This, this, I copied this truck around the, the map quite a lot. 
You'll get to see that quite a bit. So yeah, that is the the sawmill. So okay, where to next? We got we got quite a few stuff to go through. <laughs> William, pick a dome. Water one? Which water one? There's two water ones. <laughs> <laughs> left or right? We got left we got left or right. Seeing a map is wild <laughs> left or right. <laughs> Like, I posted the the large dome on Twitter. Like, right at the start. And that is how big that is. A hundred blocks wide. Alright, uh, let's just show William this one quick, quickly again. So yeah, this is the first... Well, the big dome. And the first one that I teased. So, it's only a little bit big. <laughs> Alright, you want the lotus one. Do we want the lotus dome, which is what I'm calling it, or a ocean dome? Because I'm fine with either. Like, we're going to get through them all anyway. Lotus dome. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm calling this the Lotus Dome because it's designed off a lotus. So, <laughs> yeah, this is the Cherry slash Lotus Dome. It's um, it's the most unique out of the, all of them in regards to design, and that, that yeah, that, that's the most unique by far. I'll give it that. I was also tempted to put the petals like embedded into the center panes but nah next time we play minecraft we have m terraform and map for us first <laughs> no <laughs> only if i get world at it do you want to know how many blocks of sand we're in future dome on estimate Like, all of these were, were, were blocks of sand. Every single one of these. Let me get up the number. It's an estimate. But it's from all of the... Um... Things I've changed. I swear to your addiction. So, we are up to about... Uh... 41 million blocks of sand placed. It's about that number. So it's about 41 million blocks of sand. Oops. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just look at it in Or is it just six? I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, that's that is definitely not the number. <laughs> yeah, four one million. So I stopped counting when I got to the um forest dome because I had a little blunder in regards to the forest dome. Where I didn't have enough space and there was a lake here. Like a lava lake. But I had to fill it in. So, just to get the, uh, the forest dome on. And by the, that time I gave up counting, so... There's also a load of sand underneath the uh, snow dome as well. That hasn't been changed. So that's why it's an estimate. So, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> the number that I've counted... From all the the world edit stuff before those two chain the the few forest dome change was thirty nine million one uh, seventy one thousand and twelve. That is the number that I've counted. Plus everything else that I've changed since then, so that's including like the 
Oh, está. What is this? Rude. Oops. Should I just uh, do a little clean up a minute? I don't know why this is here. <laughs> I counted it, indeed. Why is this here? What happened here? Generally don't know what happened. Let me just uh, do a clean up. No one saw anything. <laughs> yeah, I did the changing of the sand in different sections. So I did like that section, then that section, and that section. I counted every single thing that I changed. Yeah. Anyway, the largest dog. Right. This one was actually quite fun to make. I'm not gonna lie. In regards to the terraforming. So, this is in 1.19, by the way. That's why no cherry leaves. So these are custom cherry trees. Before cherry trees. Uh, before the cherry tree update, so that was fun. And um, these are why I call it the lit well, another reason why I call it the lotus dome because I put lotus, uh, lotus and stuff around. Looks pretty, thank you. And I also took the opportunity of adding the, the bamboo as well. So it was originally going to be just the, the cherry trees, and then I put in the lotus. It's going to be, it's going to say lotus scent. And then there are certain areas that are connected to the center, which is where you go down to the, the tunnel, so connect it all together. So there's quite a few domes that are connected, primarily that one. Uh, that one's not connected, but it was going to be. So the Lotus one and the Swamp one are connected, so the big one. I mean, in a way you could say that the jungle one is connected, but not really. The farm one is connected as well. We can play hide and seek on this map. <laughs> I mean, if you want each round to be like half an hour long. <laughs> be worse than when I played uh, hide and seek on Arcade. <laughs> I don't know how much I how much footage I cut out from those uh, sessions doing hide and seek on Arcade. Oh yeah. This is uh, the cherry, the cherry dome or the lotus stone. And you have no idea how much I used to debug stick. Like, these. All of these trapdoors had to be changed using the debug stick. And I loved it so much. Maybe just like, just one <laughs> dome at a time. Or you could do like maybe like one or two domes at a time. They're not like a huge, huge. I mean, there's ten domes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten domes plus the foundry and the uh, bunker and the storage warehouse thing over there. So there's what? <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of stuff to hide in. If you want to play hide and seek, I try. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> yeah! That is uh, the Lotus Stone. I don't think there's anything more that else I can show. Yeah, 
parece um, yeah this is all connected well this is connected to the bunker aka the airport area so it goes the other way this way this is probably why you had this thing over there I don't know why but it is so this is one of those elevators so as I said there's quite a few of them and then this connects to the bunker that they have. Yeah. This is one of the last things I built. <laughs> what does it look like without shaders? Uh, you mean the lotus? The lotus stone. A very plain. If things are render. So you want to see the light stone without the shaders? It doesn't look as interesting without the shaders. <laughs> yeah. Not as not as pretty. I must admit. But I had to turn the shaders off to get, do all the changing of the blocks for the terraforming. Because the sun was that bright that I couldn't see anything. Uh, complimentary on that. Do something. Was it complimentary? Yes. Okie dokie. Which time? You said a, a ocean dome. Still really sickly. Thank you. So we said an ocean dome. So we got the cold dome, cold ocean, and then we got the warm ocean. I have a fun story for the ocean dome. Yeah, uh, the warm ocean dome. But yeah, you can play with either of those two. Frankly, I'm quite proud of both of them. These two, these are the two domes that I'm actually very proud of. Along with uh, the swamp and lotus. I'm quite proud of those four. And obviously the big one, the giant dome. That's my pride and joy, I think. Yeah, I'll let you two, you, you lot choose which uh, ocean dome we go to. You don't know I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Cold dome it is. Cool. Okay. Uh, so this is the cold ocean. It's not going to break out. I want to go inspect it. The cold dome is the se second, yeah, it's the second biggest dome. I generally can't remember the proportions for each of them. I just know that the big dome is 100. You go record, no problem. Enjoy your recording. Yeah, I think this one's 75. Start. Right. This is probably the plainest dome. Um, there's not really much going on outside. Lock, lock. Yeah, there's not really much going on outside in regards to this dome. I mean, I do have this little airport or thing down here. We'll get to that in a minute. Why does that play twice? <laughs> oh 
Why does that play twice? I really don't know. Anyway. <laughs> it's really weird. Right. So this is the cold ocean. I'm actually proud of this one. This one turned out better than I was expecting it would. There's fish everywhere. By the way, these are all named. Oh, whoops. Um, they're named. Uh, it's just fish. <laughs> they're fish as well. Um, there were glow squid in this one. I named big fish, but they, they kept despawning for some reason, even though I named them. But yeah, I'm proud of this one. I'm generally proud of this one because I love how murky it looks. It just looks so murky. This is the, the infamous shot looking up there. Um, oh, this is Terraforms. This was fun, actually. I enjoyed terraforming this one. So, yeah. It's got like, the increasing colors. I didn't. I did enjoy terraforming this one. It was fun. I didn't enjoy placing all the all the um, seaweed though. That was not fun. <laughs> Wasn't fun. Uh, this pillar here was a later addition, I think, because I needed to find a way to place that. I was also going to add like loads of ventilation pipes in the sides and stuff, but I never got around to doing that and frankly I think it looks fine as it is. It's not too bad and then we got the pipes up here adding the water in because these are di directly connected to the, the foundry. So yeah. Yeah placing all this uh, seaweed, it's actually moss blocks but that was not fun. And then I went around with bone meal as well to get all the small seaweed. Yeah, that wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy doing that. <laughs> yeah, I had... I built a few variations of the seaweeds, like, higher up, when there was no water. And then I just uh, copy-pasted them all down in random places. So that was fun. I... No, it wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy it. But yeah, it's just a, a nice dome. A, a nice... A nice build, and I'm quite proud of it. I really do like the shot. There's one reason. Really. This shot here just going. Rawr. Yeah, I like it. It just looks cold and murky, and that's why I like about it. Yeah, that is the dome itself, and then we go down this way. We got these gates everywhere, so these big doors, because. It's in a like a desolate world where you don't know if this is out here is like habitable and stuff. So big like airlock doors. We got another one of these elevators, and then we come down here and we get the control panel. So I came up, I found the uh, the idea of using beacons as computer screens. I thought that was really cool. So they've been used in uh, here and the bunker, the airport bunker, so. Yeah, there's a control panel, got lots of pipes and stuff, and then we got the big airlock door, which goes outside. I can feel like a many, many stories. Yeah, yeah, they've each got their own gimmick. Um, to be honest, this one doesn't really have a gimmick. Um... This is like the only one that doesn't have anything like hugely special. It is the, the deepest dome. So it goes down the furthest. I guess that's kind of its gimmick. But other than that, it's not really got anything special going for it. It's just a lot of water. <laughs> so I don't really. Yeah. <laughs> 
And we got pipes that will go towards the pantry as well. More of those lorries, we got loads of like the airplanes going around. And you can see the, the control panel from out here. Even though that's tinted glass and you things you can see through tinted glass. Tinted glass doesn't want to tint tinted glass in Minecraft. <laughs> and here we got all the pipes that lead to the foundry. This is the first set of pipes that I did. Uh, just fun fact for you. <laughs> fun fact. Wow. First pipe on the, on the world. This is that way. Oh my god. Right. Do we do the other ocean dome while we're on the ocean domes? Because, yeah, why not? Unless you want to see another one. So we're still got the warm ocean, we got swamp, we've got jungle, taiga and the farm still to do. Oh, I also most got my channel exposed at school. Someone told this kid about my channel and as I walked into the library he said I was too <laughs> I said too I almost took you myself as I thought my secret is <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear. Right, swamp dome. Smallest dome, but also the first dome. This is indeed the first dome that was placed in the world. Um, fun fact. <laughs> this dome was actually supposed to be uh, that dome. Um, the big dome had a bit of a... a as upgrade. <laughs> so easy, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about it. This dome was also over here, like around here somewhere. But then I moved over here. So one of the few domes is actually connected to the main dome. So we got a uh, big staircase that goes up to the upper level of the walkway and then this way another staircase da -da 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 -da. and you come to the swamp dome I'm quite proud of this one it's tiny but it, shows, it has so much detail so you come up the stairs you got a little bit of a bridge I got a sugarcane. I've, I've stunted the growth by putting a uh, string on top. So, yeah. And then we got the, the, the bubbles. I thought this was a cool idea. So, we've got soul sand everywhere. It's a really small dome, so there's not really much I can really talk about it. Um, but it was the very first dome. Uh, that was placed in the world. Um, the gimmick is it's got the, the humidifiers. So we got one on that side and we got one on that side. So swamps are generally quite humid, right? So I was like, okay, we need humidifiers on this thing. So we got big humidifier things. We got smoke coming at the top as well. So that's the gimmick for the. Oh, why is there sand? You didn't see that. <laughs> you see stuff at an angle you don't normally look at. There's another sand block down there. <laughs> you, didn't see, you didn't see anything. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, Yeah, you saw nothing. There was no sand or dirt there at all. <laughs> Look at the stuff you see when you see it at a different angle. Right. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, I just like this dome. It's just really 
It's cute. I'm, I'm gonna say it's cute. I think that's the word to describe it. I was gonna put frogs in this game. Um, but because this was open and I didn't think, I couldn't think of a way to close it off without it looking weird, I decided against putting frogs in. Because frogs have an unnaturally high jump span and I didn't want to deal with frogs being all over my all over my build. So I didn't put frogs in. <laughs> yeah. That is the reason why there's no frogs in this bi uh, biome, dome, webtoon mode. You want a webtoon mod? Uh, that one. I just realized I put the wrong filter on my avatar on, on Wednesday. <laughs> Do you want to see the anime mode? I I put in uh, webtoon mode. Not anime mode, manga mode. Anyway, yeah, it's not again not really much to talk about the swamp zone because it's so small. Uh, it was the first environmental zone I completed, I think. Um, I feel scared. I apologize. Okay. Yeah, this is the first environmental dome. This was complete after the giant dome. Uh, so... Yeah. That's very much the only story I have for it. It didn't take long to build either. Um, each of these tre trees were built individually. I didn't have to worry about getting like loads built so I then copy paste all of them. Um, but yeah, these are built one at a time, down here, not on a platform up on the top, and then copy paste it down. Um, loads of soul sand for bubbles, for effects. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, and then we go down here. Quite to play walkways to be honest. And we got another staircase that goes up. You <sighs> go stamina. And then this connects into the giant dome. Got another one of those big doors here. I'd love to open, but you can see it there. Yeah, this uh, this has the swamp dome, and the connection to the big one over here. Okay, so next dome, we have uh farming, Hega, jungle, and the uh warm ocean. We've also got the bunker as well. Although the bunker is not that impressive in my opinion. Farming. Oops. Press the arm button. Okay. The last dome I completed. Thank you. <laughs> I know there's not gonna be any of that because I turned off mob sporting so you can't get me. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Just let it render a minute. That's the problem with this world, it's too big. Right. <laughs> the farming dome. Uh, third biggest? Uh, no, fourth biggest. So it goes that one, and then that one, and that one, and that one. It's a pretty big dome. I'll give it that. 
But this is the last room I completed, and there is a reason for that. I left this one to last because I thought I was going to enjoy it the most. Um, that turned out to be incorrect. <laughs> um, so yeah, I decided to leave this one to last because it gave me a little bit more of a motivational boost to keep get the other ones done. So I left this one to last, and uh, yeah, last dome to be complete. So this one again connected to the main dome. So you see the path going out this way. And it comes up here. I always get a bit laggy here as well, I don't know why. And then we got the control panel. So we got like a, a door thing over there. And another one down over there. So they close they open and close when there's an aircraft on them. I don't know why I get so laggy when I come in this way. Uh we got the warehouse. This this actually took quite a while to build, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was fun to build. I actually enjoyed building this. Uh, yeah, I can't say I enjoyed placing all the. the no, I didn't place all the barrels. I world edited, world edited them, but I had to uh, rotate some of the barrels and hay as well because they were all in this position, so I had to alter them a little bit. Um, yeah, it's it's just a simple design, it's not, not anything overly special, I went for simple and quite clean as well. So this is pretty much the storage for the entire complex. Simple, it is actually simple, okay? It's literally just um, quartz and green. Concrete. I was actually surprised that this matched so well, so I went with it. Yeah, we got the, the harvesters here. So I'll go into the dome in a minute. But these are these are parked harvesters. So we got the the blade thingies on the side. We got storage things, they float. I liked that idea. I'll probably make a 4x4 in Sailor. <laughs> yeah, these these are little carrier things that carry the storage, the supplies around to organize and stuff. We've got more cranes. These were copied from the sawmill and then changed all the colors to match the rest. Uh, a huge crane on the top. So I've made it look so it goes up and down and then goes along. So that's interesting. Just a little, a little touch there. Uh, in here we've got the docking bay. So more, more of those trucks. This was a pain to decorate, by the way. <laughs> this room was a pain. Because it, it is a surprisingly small space when you've got two massive trucks in it. <laughs> I'll make a 4x4 of each land and say, look, future dome. <laughs> I don't think you'll make a dome by a 4x4 land. <laughs> that would be incredibly difficult. It would literally just be... Yeah, she... Uh... It would just be that. I don't think that can count. <laughs> but yeah. We've got, uh... We got this. This was, yeah, as I said, surprisingly difficult to decorate this room when you got two massive trucks in it. Because I put the trucks in before I did the rest of the decoration. Because I needed a idea for space. And um, yeah, surprisingly difficult. <laughs> um, we got the, the big airtight doors as well. I found 
that I could get the ID for lit lanterns, but for some reason you can only get them like this, you can't get them all lit for some reason, and I don't know why. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know how you get that without using redstone. But there was such a little space in behind to use redstone that I couldn't do it. <laughs> so yeah, that room was a pain. And then we got more trucks out here. I just noticed they don't have headlights, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll ignore that. Um, I was going to do like a big um, old thing here. So like a say a radar thing. That kind of structure. But I ended up not doing it. I was also going to do it like in the middle but then this was even. So I couldn't do it properly. That broke my uh my plans. Yeah, we got the control panel in here. And then quite a steep stairway. And then that goes all the way that way to the main dome. Yeah, let's get into the into the dome itself. Okay. When I said that I thought that this one was gonna be fun. It, w it wasn't fun. It, w it wasn't fun. <laughs> All of these were placed individually. Um, this was a rehash of the snow. Um, these all had to be placed individually. And then some of them messed up for some reason. So I had to replant them again and then bone mail them as well. <laughs> Even though I put on the, the tick speed up to uh, max. It was still really slow to grow. Yeah, I had to place all of these individually because the, as you can see, there's no water. So that was fun. So I had to have uh, seed in one hand and hoe in the other. <laughs> I, I've got replay footage of me doing it. And you can see how I've done it. I did like a little a little strip of land throwing it and then came back with the seeds and oh my god it was torture. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> but yeah. Uh these bits here were also just added for interest. Um they were supposed to be like extra things that people could harvest because these kind the rose bushes kind of look like tomatoes in a way. And then we got sweet berries over here as well. But the, th the problem is, with these up here, you got nowhere to get up to them. <laughs> you got no way to get up to them. And I generally didn't know how to work that out. So like, would there be like an elevator here to go up to the top? Would there be stairs going up to it? I was just like, I had no idea. <laughs> but for, like, I just decided to leave it. It was too much hassle. I was like, eh, no. <laughs> uh, we got one of the harvesters in action. Um, this is pretty much just me just delaying loads of the the wheat and then just placing a harvester next to it. Uh, we got another one there as well. Uh. Nothing is actually inside of here, but this, these are the little windmill things. Little wind turbines that keep like the air going through, make it like a waterfall. No, <laughs> I'm not adding water to this thing, especially after I've had to place so much of this stuff. I'm not risking having to place a lot of stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the, we got the wind turbines. I kind of wanted to add these um, when they look cool too. They 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 look functional, like they belong in here. Uh, we got the big pipes as well, just to keep air pushing in. 
also got fans in and glass apparently so big fans this goes down to nowhere so yeah that is pretty much the, the farm dome in a nutshell we got more out here i'll get up to that in a second um but yeah big big dome and it was a pain <laughs> i wish i didn't leave it to last <laughs> but it, it turned out pretty good i'll give it that yeah this one was a pain it was more of a pain than i was hoping it was gonna be um yeah that's all i can really say <laughs> So we've got another really big elevator over here, and then we've got loads of little doors. We've got an airlock here, and all of these go to floors of this bout here. So this is where all the animals are kept. You, sh you could probably say this is inhumane. <laughs> like I was, I was thinking, hey, we're probably gonna need animals to survive, right? So yeah, I use this instead. This originally had wheat in it as well, but then I was, I thought about the animals and I, yeah, I, I changed it. <laughs> oh, we got the big windmill out here as well. So you could say that this dome has two gimmicks, so it's got the big windmill out the front and it's got the warehouse as well. So two big gimmicks and we got pipes and stuff. Got pipes everywhere. I do like the look of this dome though. It looks good. Even though it was a pain. So. I also made it look like this was cooler lava. Just to make it look like the snow dome up the top was justifiable. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's cooler lava. <laughs> Uh, we got the the aircraft coming to landing. This was placed after I did the runway, so I'm quite surprised that this actually fit in just um, into the runway. So I'm quite amazed with that because the the aircraft were probably the last thing I built. So yeah. I'm on my view. Right. Um, oh yeah, we got more of the beacon computer screens as well. So they are there as well. Right. Next up. Where are we going next? We got a few more domes to go. Hmm. Question marks. Okay, we got three more domes, plus the bunker. Uh, so we got Tega, Jungle, and the War Motion. War Motion. The fun one. <laughs> you have PTSD if you listen. <laughs> Just from that video. Not the build itself, from the video. I can't stop laughing when it comes to that. I'm just a more emotional on the video. Um, but yeah, this is the, the Haribo fried egg. <laughs> Another reason why I can't stop laughing, because I just see Haribo fried eggs. And when I see it, it looks like a Haribo fried egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Again, one of my favourite domes. Um, I can't stop laughing whenever I think of this dome. But yeah, um, I see his, uh, the power of Redick just from the shape. You've seen, you've seen like the... I'll put it in the water in a minute. <laughs> I'm stalling, okay? Yeah, I just see it as a horror Friday. Um, right, so this dome. It was originally like all the other domes, so this shape, like the dome shape. But then I came to the realization, hey, I need to put turtles in. And I, turtles need a place to like nest and rest, right? So I thought, oh, I need to put beaches in. So that's where the, the outer bit comes in. So that's why. It looks like a Harry Potter red egg. <laughs> so, that is that. I'm stalling. I'm, I'm stalling going into the water. So, we got the, the pipes and we got the entrance into it as well. So, this comes out to another runway. It's not the best runway. It was a last minute thing. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's go in. Uh, nothing else in there, it's just a pipe. Right, here we go. Right, the gimmick. It's literally an underwater volcano. So, this was fun. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> so we got loads of lava underneath. Um, underneath a load of glass. So there's layers and layers of glass on top of one another to make it look like lava bubbling up. Um, so, yeah, I used quite a lot of world edit just to get all the percentages for the different colors. It's kind of cool just going through this. I've never done this. This, this is cool. <laughs> but yeah, lots of layers of glass um i was gonna put the soul sand everywhere but then it looked way too much so i only did it around where the lava bits are and it looks so much better well now the funny stories come from the the soul sand um i'm gonna have to show you in the video because once you see it you can't unsee it and it's hilarious <laughs> uh where's the the water dome Right, are you ready? Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. And this is why I tweeted about the um, watch out for flying turtles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we got the overview of the, of the dome and we got the inside. Right. <laughs> You already see a bit of it there. Okay. We go under. I watch this turtle here. <laughs> I can't unsee it. <laughs> so every time I watch this video, I just laugh every time of that turtle. Just <laughs> go I saw. <laughs> like I can't not laugh at it. It's so funny. <laughs> Like, I didn't notice that I had that until like, I released the video or until like I finished the video <laughs> like by that time I generally didn't want to change it so I didn't <laughs> it's just a blind turtle and it's great So yeah, every time I watch this bit in the video, I just can't stop laughing because of that turtle. <laughs> and it's all because of the, um, the sauce end. And it's so good. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, this dome just makes me laugh in so many different ways. <laughs> Can we get a flying turtle? I want to see a flying turtle. I mean, that's kind of one fly. Oh, they're flying around over there. Yeah, it's just so funny. 
But yeah, this is one of my favorite domes, just from how it came out like. Um, I could have done bigger corals, but I decided against it. Just because it... But frankly, Minecraft corals just look unrealistic because of how big they are. So I went for blocks. Single blocks. To uh, make it look like a coral reef. <laughs> I also have to place all of the uh, the sea lanterns, not sea lanterns, pickles, sea pickles individually because I looked so hard to find a command to place more than one sea pickle in one block and I couldn't. I don't know how you do it. So I had to place all of these sea pickles individually. That was fun. Um, but yeah, other than that. I actually really enjoyed making this dome. It was fun. <laughs> and now when you rewatch that video, shush computer. Uh all you'll see is a flying turtle. <laughs> I mean they're flying everywhere. <laughs> right. But yeah. Now you can now you can see why we're stalling. <laughs> um but yeah. All of this was done before I did the the beach of the beach bit. So I was literally placing on placing in all of these fish. Oh these are called fancy fish by the way. What are the turtles called? Crash. Yeah they're, they're called Crash because of the turtle from Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah these are called fancy fish because they're fancy fish. Um, yeah I was placing all these and I realized oh wait I need to place tur uh, turtles. turtles in this dorm as well so that's where the the beach came in. So, yeah, I like this dome. This is one of my favorite domes. So, right, two, two more, I think. Yeah, two more plus bunker. Uh, we got Tega and we got the jungle plus bunker. Bye. <sighs> The Tega is another special one. Actually, to be honest, both of them are special. Because both of them have aspects of the original. Tega. Right. Tega. Okie dokie. Right. The original. In one of the domes on the original dome, a uh, future dome build, uh, there was a cave that went around the outside and this being one of the last domes that I built so this was the third to last build dome I built then it was that one then it was that one um, because I'd done all these I hadn't placed in the cave yet so I couldn't uh, add it to any of the others before it so that's why I did it on this one we got a cave that goes all the way around the, the dome. I was done underneath, why not? Oh yeah, the rest of the dome is down there. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, there's a cave, and this is a homage to one of the domes in the original. So, yeah! Special, special dome. <laughs> Other than that, it's not really as uh, unique. In comparison to the others, we got the, the runway because there's no other way to connect it. And then we got the doors which lead into the cave and you can come out. This was also going to be a dome similar to the forest dome, so it was going to be somewhat connected to like a sawmill type build, but I went against that just because it's just so far from all the other domes. I guess the furthest one out. But, yeah. Uh, this one, again, was a bit of a pain to terraform. It was similar in regards to the forest dome. Just having to hand place everything. So that wasn't the most interesting. All the trees are custom built. So I had a big 
platform up there, outside the dome, where I custom built a lot of trees. <laughs> that was fine. Um, some of these are bent. Yeah, this one. They're bent. Why not? Have a bent Tega or a spruce tree. Yeah, lots of variation in regards to the terraforming. So we get like an overhang here. Lots of rocks in the middle. And other than the cave, it's not really much that I can really talk about with this one. This took quite a while for me to build the cave itself. Because all these blocks had to be placed. Um, a lot of terraforming, a lot of world that it involved. Yeah! Take a one. Uh, it's interesting in its own way. Like if you've watched the original and like the original video, then you know the importance of the, the cave. But yeah. It's funny because the cave is also in the original how you get to the outside. Uh, so yeah, that is, uh, that's the Tega. So we might as well just fly over to the, the jungle now. We kept a lot of work into these. Yeah. It looks so much the winds. <laughs> Alright, the jungle there. This one is unique. Uh, it has its gimmick, and I bet you probably can't see it off uh, at first glance. Well, when you, when you see it, you can't unsee it. But it's there. Um, being a warm dome, because jungles are warm, it's double glazed. So we got two domes on one dome. So yeah, it's double glazed. I just thought it was... Uh, a clever thing. And then we got the water going down. I wasn't sure about the placement of this, but it's right next to lava, but it's a warm dome anyway, so why not? <laughs> yeah, water comes all the way down. This was a little bit of a pain, just trying to get all the water to go in the right direction. Because Minecraft water is not fun. And it comes down into the, the little pond slash lake thing down here. I wanted to go for a different colour scheme as well. Like not the generic stone. Cobblestone. Deep slate. I wanted to do something different. So I've gone for acacia, tough, and site, stone and clay. <laughs> uh, this one also doesn't have an entrance either. Uh, as of at the moment. I was gonna do it like a cave here and then it goes, well, the rest of the dome is there. Um, and then a cave that just goes underneath everything and then connects up with the bunker. But I never got around to it. No one will notice. <laughs> uh, again, custom trees. I must admit, jungle trees are not fun to make. They're really not fun to make. <laughs> I didn't enjoy making them, but they turned out alright, so I can't really complain. Like, I looked for references for custom built um, jungle trees, and apparently there's not very many good ones. So, I had to compromise and work on my own design. So, that was fun. Not. Yeah. We got the hanging lights as well because it was so dark under here because of all the, the canopy. So I put hanging lights down as well. It also makes it look pretty so I can't complain. I was also getting to the point in the build where I couldn't be bothered to do like proper terraforming. So there's very small amount of rocks around. <laughs> so that is why there's not very many rocks. Um, but yeah, loads of little waterfalls and stuff. 
You just go everywhere. I did more bear up here, like less trees up here. Just to give a little bit of diversity. This, as well as the Tega, we're supposed to be a wood bearing dome. So, yeah, it connected to a sawmill type building, but I never got around to it. As I said, with the Tega. Uh, this is connected. Uh, it goes over there. Yeah, she goes under the uh, the bunker, but it doesn't really go anywhere other than that. Yeah, that's like an air vent. It's not anything else. Okay, okay. We have the bunker. The last thing, one of the last things I built as well. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't decide on a design for this thing, so I went on Google Images to find a design and I found one similar to this and I went with it. <laughs> right, there's not much inside of the bunker because again it was getting towards the end of the project and I was getting so tired. So it's quite empty in here. As you can see, I have all this on here. Yeah, we got a few planes in here. All custom built planes. I'm quite proud of these. They look good. They look good. Is our next laughing remote here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like these planes. Uh, the first one's still out here, I think. Yeah, this one. This is the first plane. All the other planes that look like this are copied from this one. And I got that one which is just rotated. So uh Oh wait. Um No that was the first plane and I moved it. This is the second one. That's the first one. Yeah. We got three different types of planes. We got the big winged one. Uh, this one I quite like. I've gone for a little... I, I don't know if this is supposed to be just like a um, aerodynamic thing or if it's gonna be like a gun or something. I don't know. I never really decided. I just put it... <laughs> but yeah. Got like the engines on the side and then... Yeah, I quite like that one. And then this one... That's the biggest one. I wanted to make a bigger one, so like a supply carrier one, but I never did. And then we got this one. This one was prominent in the video. So, they've all got engines of some sort. That one's the most unique. Yeah? And then we got this one down here. This was the first design. I don't think this is the first plane. So I don't think I copied, like, cut it and then pasted it. I think I just copied and pasted it. Yeah, this is the first design. So this one, because it's a helicopter, more helicopter-like, it would be the one that goes down to, like, down to the helicopter pad down here. Whereas all the other ones are more plane-like, so they need a runway. But these are these are actually quite fun to make. I'm not gonna lie. I did enjoy making these. I can go inside. There's not much inside. I must to be honest. More trucks. You can go up here as well. But there's nothing up here. This was gonna be like a control panel thing, but I had no way of actually working out how to get up there, so I left it. Um, so we got more of these planes in here, and we got that one in here as well. And then we can come out here, and that way is the, to the Lotus Dome. And then we go this way to, oh this is shot, to the, the Giant Dome. So, yeah! You did a great job, thank you. Uh, 
and we got more of those big air tight doors as well. So I just like it. And then we got some uh, planes placed everywhere. So we got some of them going out of the, the complex. Got sand up here. Um, we got a double of the big ones over here. So they're up there. We got another two over here. So yeah, I just copy pasted them all over the place. There was one around here, but it was so intrusive on the video that I was just like, no. I'm gonna eat in a bit. I'm gonna stop in a minute. It's fine. We pretty much threw it anyway. Um, there's not really much else I can really talk about to you. We do have a walkway here to get to the middle. Uh, but other than that, you can't really get to the foundry. And then this has got the air airlock door. But yeah, that is Future Dome. All these buildings are empty, by the way. Just don't break your immersion. They go, <laughs> they're all empty. <laughs> they got the floors in, but they're all empty. Sure, nearly the whole thing. Mm. This down below is uh, completely hollow. Again, just to break your immersion. This is also another reason why I turned off moth spawning, because they were also spawning in here. And then I just decided to remove the water altogether, because frankly it didn't really matter. So, they have water in them. Nothing else down below. It's just a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, Future Dome. I hope I've done it justice in regards to talking about it. Uh, I do like the shot. It's a good shot. I'll leave on the shot. Yes! We'll leave on that shot. But yeah, that is Futurdom. Yeah, stretch. But yeah, so much work went into this. Uh, by this point, um, time played 8.23 days. That's ex including the time I was getting footage and stuff. And the last hour, um, well, two hours. So, there's eight days in total, so that's about 200 hours. So that's fun. 200 hours to build this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're gonna. I'll come out, I'll come out. I'll get the wide shot for this. Go, go, go! Such a majestic shot. There we go. We'll render a little bit more. Yeah. I hope you enjoy. Uh, it's, it's been a fun build and a bit of a pain. <laughs> this was the fun I had when rendering all the, sh all the shots for this. But yeah. It was a pain to build, but it was also fun. I learned a lot from it. But hopefully I'm not gonna... Well, not hopefully. I want to have a bit of a break from doing futuristic builds for a while. Because obviously we had... Yes, it's Muna. And then we went into this one. So I want to have a bit of a break from futuristic builds. So. <laughs> you guys are really proud of it? I am. I mean, comparing this to uh, this, I need a slight improvement. <laughs> 
I wanted to do it justice. Future Dive was the first big build that I did. Sorry. I wanted to do it justice. And you can see how important it is to me, just because it's there. Uh, yeah. <sighs> you said you could shot. Just leave it on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the walkthrough. This video will be going up on the, on the main channel because I've been talking about the major build project. The latest major build project. So yeah, we'll be going up on the YouTubes for people to, to enjoy their own leisure. Um, I do have a load of replay fo footage from me building it as well. I don't know if I'll release that or not because it'll be a major pain. Um, and I procrastinate a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, this video will be going up. Um. Oh, there's not really much else I can really talk about it. Yeah, I think I will leave it there. Uh, you got Atlas streaming, but I don't. I don't know. Probably won't raid. Okay, okay. Right. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, this stream slash board slash video. This is for YouTube, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, maybe stream tomorrow. So, yeah, bye bye. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection.